wanted for crimes against humanity. Havad Azadeh, prison interrogator and torturer. Mohammed Hussein Akhtari, deputy head of the International Department, in Ali Khamenei, the Supreme Leader's office. He was the president of the Revolutionary Court in the province of Mazandaran, where he issued hundreds of execution orders. He also served for over eight years, 88 to 97, as Iran's ambassador in Syria, where he entertained close relations with the Hezbollah and planned terrorist actions in the region, in Europe, and assassinations of Iranian opposition members abroad. Mortaz Abashi Ari, director of Iran's prisons. Abdullah Havad Amali, cleric public prosecutor and revolutionary court judge in the province of Mazandaran. Ahmad Janai, cleric, secretary of the Guardian Council since 88. Acted as the revolutionary court judge in Tehran, Isfahan, and Avaz for several years. He has been member of the Guardian Council since 80 and acts as the substitute Friday prayer imam of Gam and Tehran. Muhammad Hajazi, commander of Bayzi forces. Asghar Hajazi, cleric. Acts as advisor and head of security office of the Supreme Leader. He was appointed by Khomeini to reorganize Savak. He served as a deputy of the new intelligence ministry. After Khomeini's death he was moved to the Supreme Leader's office. He is known to be one of those ordering torture and execution of political persons. Rodol Abbasanian, cleric. Deputy Prosecutor General of the Special Court for Clerics. Judge and Public Prosecutor in Revolution Court of Tehran. He also acts as the representative of the country's public prosecutor in the Ministry of Intelligence. Ali Filahin, cleric. Intelligence minister from 84 to 89. Islamic Revolution Courts prosecutor general in 1982. Prosecutor for the Special Court for Clerics in 1987. Known to be responsible for most of political assassinations in Iran and abroad. Between 82 to 2001. He is on Interpol's wanted list in connection with Mikono's judgment in 91 in Germany. Mustafa Power Mohammadi cleric acts as the Supreme Leader's advisor in charge of security of seminars. He plays a direct role in relation to acts of torture and disappearances of the regime's political opponents. Ali Akbar Velayati, he is the Supreme Leader's top advisor in matters relating to security and international relations. He was the regime's foreign minister 82 to 97. He is known to play an important role in the regime's policies of exporting revolution, acts of terrorism abroad and torture and elimination of its opponents at home. Some of these facts came to light in the course of the Mykonos trial in Germany 94 to 97. Mahmoud Hashemi Sharodi, cleric, born in Iraq. Entered Iran after the 78 revolution. Khomeini had first appointed him as head of the High Council for the Islamic Revolution in Iraq. Today he heads the judicial branch of the government. He is also a member of the Guardian Council and a member of the Expediency Assembly. He is supportive of Islamic Revolution courts and has not shown any sensitivity against daily rampant acts of torture taking place in Iranian prisons. He and Mesbah Yazdi were the only two clerics to vote to elevate Ali Khamenei the Grand Ayatollah so he could become supreme ruler. Ali Akbar Hashemi Rafsan Johnny Barmani, cleric. For 25 years he has been one of the most powerful political figures in Iran. He is more than anyone responsible for the regime commission of acts of torture, barbarities of all sorts and elimination of its opponents at home and abroad. Self-elevated to title of Ayatollah. Hossein Shariat Madari officer in the Ideological and Political Bureau of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, interrogator in the Evan Prison, Ali Khamenei's representative and general manager of Kihan Publishing Company. Muhammad Esmo Shushtari Cleric. Tehran Islamic Revolution Prosecutor's Office, Director of the Prisons Organization, 88-89, Justice Minister, since 89. Muhammad Yazdi Cleric. Head of the Judiciary. 90 to 2000. During this period he ordered arrest and prosecution of intellectuals, prominent journalists and others. Nearly all were tortured and denied fair trials. Ali Yunesi, head of the Revolutionary Court in Tehran, in early 80s judge, at the Army's Revolutionary Court in mid 80s assistant, to the Minister of Intelligence Mohammad Mohammadi Raishari, Tehran public prosecutor, 88 to 89. Hassan, Faredin, Rouhani, cleric. 
Supreme Leader's representative and secretary of the all-powerful High National Security Council, since 96. In those capacities he plays important role in torture and elimination of the regime's opponents at home and abroad. Mohammed Mohammad Rai Shari cleric organizer and Sharia judge of the Army Revolution Court, 79, first intelligence minister of the Islamic Republic, head of the special court for the clergy, prosecutor general. Mortaza Motadei cleric, prosecutor general, since 89. Islamic Revolution Court judge in Tehran, Gom, and other provinces 80. Abdul Karim Musabi Ardbil cleric, prosecutor general, 80-81. Head of the Supreme Judicial Council and the Supreme Courts, 81 to 89, in Tehran and Gom. Raisin A.A. cleric, former Islamic Revolution prosecutor. Saeed Mortazavi. Tehran Islamic Revolution Courts public prosecutor. Ali Akbar Masani Ajahi, cleric. Head of Special Clergy Court since 80. He has worked in the Judiciary Department since 80. He is known to favor death tortures and recourse to acts of tortures against those opposing the Islamic Republic. Abbas Ali Ali Zadeh, cleric. Head of the Tehran Judicial Office. Previously head of the Revolution Court of Mashhad. He is known to have been responsible for the death of many people opposing the regime. He is alleged to have raped women prisoners. Abdullah Havad Amoli, cleric, prosecutor, and revolutionary judge in Mazandaran province. Muhammad Galpaye Ghani, cleric. Supreme Leader's Chief of Secretariat. He is directly or indirectly involved in all acts of repression, torture, disappearances and killings that have taken place in the country during the past 14 years. Abbas Bayezi Tabasi, cleric, head of the multi-billion dollars foundation of Azra Zevi, since 79. Member of the Assembly of Experts, since 98 and member of the all-powerful Expediency Assembly, Ali Meshkini, cleric, speaker of the Assembly of Experts, Majlis e Bregan, since 84 as well as Friday Prayer of Qum. Muhammad Bagher's Al Ghadra second in command in the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Forces, IRGC. Golam Reza Matevi, deputy of the National Police and Security Forces, in charge of ideological and political department. Ebrahim Galabi, commander of the security forces in the National Police. His brother allegedly the biggest and most renowned drug smuggler in Iran. Muhammad Ali Mavahedi Kermani, representative of the Supreme Leader in the Revolutionary Guard Forces. Ard Sherlatfian, an officer of the Revolutionary Guard, commander of the National Police Forces, 97 to 2000. Muhammad Ali Rahman, representative of the Supreme Leader in the Police and other security forces. Haidar Masli, representative of the Supreme Leader in the Mobilization Forces, Bezati. Muhammad Shakib Niya, second in command in the Mobilization Forces, Bezati, which violently suppressed demonstrations and gatherings, especially at universities. Ahmed Saika, torturer. Jafar Imadi, torturer. Masood Dainamaki, Ansari Hizbollah terrorist. Mehdi Nasri, Ansari Hizbollah terrorist. Kave Komail, Ansari Hizbollah terrorist. Abdul Majid Motashim, Ansari Hizbollah terrorist. Ali Mobashari in charge of Islamic Revolution Courts. Reza Zavri, close collaborator of Azad al Alajavardi. Hossein Musavi Tabrizi cleric, Revolution's general public, prosecutor 81 95. Revolution's Tabriz public prosecutor 79 to 81. Member of the combatant clerical assembly. Responsible for torture and execution of thousands of freedom-loving Iranians during the past 25 years. Muhammad Razan Ardi, Shems, Revolutionary Guards Brigadier General, high-ranking member of the Chief of Staff of the Revolutionary Guards. In that capacity he played an important role in the assassinations of opponents of the regime abroad. His name is widely associated with acts of torture against the former Tehran mayor as well as in regard to his private place of torture and involvement in the rape of young girls. Presently he works in the office of the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, Ebrahim Yazdi, very close collaboration with Khomeini during the first years after the 79 uprising and one of the godfathers of the Revolutionary Guards. Secretly worked as the first revolutionary prosecutor and judge for several months after the revolution, organized, operated and fixed the late Avedis trial as well as some others.
Other roles include Deputy Prime Minister in charge of Revolutionary Affairs, late 79, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Member of Islamic Parliament, 82-84, Head of Kihan, Government-Sponsored Publishing Group, Head of the Iran Liberation Movement, since 92. Currently pretending to oppose the Mullah regime he helped create. Trained with Palestinian guerrillas. Safari Rondi, Deputy to Hussein Shariat Maduri.